Okay, so welcome back to Recipes with Rob. Today what we've got going on here is we're going to go ahead and do our blends. Uh, now I know I wanted to do our blends in our fancy bottles, but our fancy bottles don't have corks right now, and rather than wait for our corks to come in, I've just decided to use what we have. So we're going to use our sample bottles, which are effective, and they're still attractive in their own way. Um, we've got four different blends that we're going to try today. We're going with an Italian blend, a uh, Mexican blend, a French blend, and our burger blend. I know we've done the burgers before, but we love them so much we want to have the blend on hand for when we make them, uh, seeing as we make them so often. So this is everything that we need. These are going to be all the oils that we're going to use. We've got quite a few that we're uh, putting into our blends today. These are the bottles we're going to put them in and our fractionated coconut oil, which is the base for all of our blends. So we're going to get right into the recipes. We're going to start with our Italian recipe. We've uh, labeled the jar with our uh, Italian grapes. And we're just going to fill it up with the fractionated coconut oil. And here is our recipe. So we're looking for two drops of basil. Or three drops, excuse me, three drops of basil. One, two, three. And next, uh, two drops of marjoram. 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 We're going to say marjoram. That's how we're calling it. Two drops. Three drops of oregano. Two drops of thyme. Two. Two drops of rosemary. Two. And when as frustrating as these drops are, I like to do it ahead of time. So I'm not going through this while I'm trying to cook. And two drops of black pepper. One, two. All right, so there we go. That's our Italian recipe. We're gonna cork it, stick it on our spice rack, and it'll be ready to go to marinate my chicken next time I make some Parmesan chicken. Next, we're going to go with our Mexican blend. This one is not as busy as the Italian blend. I think the Italian blend was our busiest. So this is going to be two drops of lime. Three drops of cumin. Two drops of black pepper. Whoa. So we got three drops of black pepper. And we're looking for a drop of oregano. That oregano is pretty potent. That's why we only need one drop. 
So there we go. There's our Mexican blend all mixed up. Just put that on your spice shelf and add a teaspoon of it to your meal for flavoring. I'm starting to blend in there. Next, we are going for our French theme. Got our little French menu on the bottom. We're looking for two drops of thyme. Two drops of the marjoram. Looking for three drops of rosemary. Which is good because I usually go for the rosemary after I eat to help with digestion. So we're going to go ahead and get it in there from the very beginning. And then two drops of fennel. There we go. So that is our French blend. So I have a bacon wrapped chicken that I love to do. And I think that this blend will be just perfect for it. Next time I cook that meal, I will let you know how it goes. And then our burger blend with a little burger on the label. This is our simplest blend. We have three drops of dill. Simplest, but definitely one of our most used. One drop of the oregano. Oregano is a really powerful oil, so we don't add as much. Just the one drop. And then two drops of black pepper. There we go, we've got our burger blend. So, I guess every other blend has a country of origin. We're gonna call this the American blend because I made it right here in San Diego. And now we just add that to our spice shelf and we can take a trip around the world without leaving our house visiting the flavors of our favorite countries with our essential oils. So we we'll just, when the time comes, add one teaspoon, one teaspoon of our flavoring per pound of meat or liter of sauce. <clears throat> and that's how we use our blends to spice our food. So today while we're doing our recipes with Rob, I want to announce our loyalty rewards winner and that is going to be Fernando this week. So Fernando, just let us know what prizes you're looking for. We've got our On Guard toothpaste, our body butter, uh, Spa doTERRA, so that's uh, good for you too. I get that for Jess, I don't know. Um, Serenity Calming Bath Bar, or one of the blends that we've just made. Just let us know which option you choose and we will get that to you. I also wanna let you know, um, if you want the same amazing oils that we have, uh, we use only uh, the doTERRA essential oils, contact us and we will get you your discount prices. Thanks again for joining us at Recipes with Rob. We'll see you next time.